We've got nothing. Uh, we did have, there it is. Beautiful. It's a pale form Wahlberg's eagle, and naturally it was circling right in front of us, round and around, until just as we came live, then it decided, no, 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 it's going to go north. Isn't that beautiful? Sit and watch a bird fly like this forever. Oh, it's stunning. Just starting to gain a little bit of height as the sun starts to warm the earth and the thermals start to rise. The lions go inevitably to sleep as they have done now. Now it's quite difficult from your angle to see of course how quickly that bird's going up but it's getting quite a lot smaller. Like I say, they're soon to be heading towards the north. They'll be the first back though. And I do wonder when these monotonous larks are going to leave as well. They're still all around. Isn't that lovely? Looking for the odd lizard. I mean, it's difficult to spot a lizard from up there, I would have thought. But that's what they'll eat. Sometimes small birds. But the more and more I read about the diets of the raptors out here and the carnivores, oh, he's got his landing gear out. The more and more I think that they will eat just about anything that's smaller than they are. That is a very pasty white Wahlberg's eagle. Oh, Mr. Wahlberg, by the way, I did my research, and it was him that I remembered. He was killed by elephants in the Okavango, by a wounded elephant in the Okavango. And the article I read makes mention of him sending something like thousands of species of specimens back to museums around Europe. And what that means is basically he wiped out enormous numbers of creatures stuffed them and sent them up north. So although he is renowned as a naturalist, he'd right about now be considered a, vim, a sort of fairly uh, a successful poacher, I suspect. But that was a different time, wasn't it? Craig, this is very impressive. Your filming of the Wahlberg's eagle. The other Wahlberg's animal that we get out here, of course, is the Wahlberg's epauletted fruit bat which doesn't look much like that. It looks like a bat. Well done, Craig. That's a very nice picture of the sky you have there. And as Rebecca is saying, it makes you feel very peaceful. And as I've said to many of you before, one of the things that I like to do if I'm feeling less than peaceful is lie out in the open and watch the raptors circling. It's an extremely peaceful activity.